Hello everybody. This is my new video on EDM. EDM is a electric discharge machining. So let us advance towards first question. First question is what is EDM and explain plunge EDM. Answer is EDM is electro discharge machining where copper or graphite electrode is a cutting tool. The electrode discharges a spark which causes the workpiece material removal in form of burn powder. Plunge EDM is useful in die making. An electrode of required shape is machined on CNC and then plunged inside workpiece to form required cavity inside the workpiece. Second question is explain wire cut EDM. Answer. A wire with diameter as small as 40 microns can be used as cutting tool for making profiles into workpiece. As you can see in the image that the wire is unwinded from main stock wheel and then it advances through the workpiece for cutting the material and then the wire moves towards dead stock. And this is the top view of uh, the workpiece. You can see that the hex profile has been cut by wire cut method. Next question is what is EDM drilling? The answer is the normal drilling process has limitations when it comes to depth of a small diameter drills. It cannot go beyond 5 mm depth but it is possible in EDM drilling. The general setup of EDM drilling is as shown in image. A small diameter electrode is held in the chuck of the machine and then it forms a deep hole inside the workpiece. The next question is what are the general considerations for electrode design. The first consideration is uh, regarding the provision on electrode for uh, making it hold easily on the machine. Uh, we can give uh, another small diameter shape which can be hold in the chuck or we can give a tapped holes where the uh, allen bolt will be fixed and the allen bolt will be hold by the machine holder or chuck. Another important design consideration is a spark gap. If uh, we have to make a 10 mm diameter profile inside the workpiece, then the electrode diameter should be equal to the required diameter minus 2 into spark gap. Next question is why EDM shall be considered as a finishing operation only? Sparking has a, a long cycle times. If desired cavity in the workpiece is of 10 mm depth, then we can pre-machine it to 9.5 mm and the, uh, we can keep the stock for uh, sparking of 0.5 mm only. Due to longer cycle times, there is a chance of electrode wear out. This can cause quality issues. So longer the sparking time, the wear will be larger and the running cost of traditional machining processes is cheaper compared to EDM. So traditional machining can do roughing operations with larger tolerances and EDM can do finishing operations with closer tolerances. Next question. What is the difference between plunge EDM and wire cut EDM in terms of resulting cut profiles? The difference is that EDM can create only blind profiles but wire cut can create through profiles. The difference can be seen in below two images. Next question. What are advantages of using EDM over conventional machining processes? 
Since in traditional machining processes end mill cutter is used, it can leave radius on internal corners. But in plunge idiom, we can get sharp internal corners. Modern idiom machines can even give surface finish equivalent to diamond polishing. Textured or polished finishes are preferred in aluminum die cast as well as plastic mold cavities. Another major advantage of idiom over regular machining like pocket milling is that idiom can be done on hardened steel without sacrificing the cutting tool. Question Tell something about electrode draw materials. Answer Copper and graphite are most common raw materials for electrodes. Copper has good machining properties as well as it is not brittle but if electrode size is big enough then can cause holding trouble on machine due to heaviness. Graphite is a lightweight and can be machined for converting it into the electrode but it is very brittle so need too much care while handling. And the last question, in wire cut idiom, what are the conditions when pilot drill is required and when it is not required? Answer, see below two images, when there is a material on all the sides of cutting profile, then pilot drill or wire entry hole is required. And when the profile is on only one side of the workpiece, then pilot drill is not required.